What's going on guys welcome back to a brand new video and today I got something pretty pretty awesome I thought it was cool that's why I picked it up and I can't wait to show it to you guys but before we jump into the video I want to let you guys know that I did a little wireless carrier series for the USA well not specifically for the USA it's just the carriers I featured is in the USA so if you guys were wondering about phone plans among Verizon, AT&T, Sprint and T-Mobile Definitely check out my last couple videos. I will post the links in the description below. I, I basically went over the plans, all the different plans and the prices and whatnot. But that's enough for that, guys. Let's jump into this video. So we're going to be taking a look at Nebula by Anchor. Now, you guys know, I can't stress enough, Anchor is my brand. I love Anchor. Shout out to Anchor or anybody from Anchor that's looking at this video, possibly, you know. I love you guys. Anyway, so first off, you see this little award right here. Now, this one, the Red Dot Design Award winner for 2018. So this is a pretty recent product. Um, now, this it's it's called the capsule, and if you guys already didn't recognize what it is, it's the most advanced pocket cinema. Now, what is a most advanced pocket cinema? It's basically a projector that is so tiny you can just slip it in your pocket. But I can't wait to dig into this box. So let's jump. Let's take a quick look at the box first. So you guys already saw the front and everything. Let me just pull it in right here. You got it's portable. It's 360 sound Android 7.0. I'm not sure if this works with iOS, but you know we'll find out throughout the video. To this side of the box, it does once again um, let you know that you must at least have Android 7.1 run streaming and media apps smoothly. So you guys can go ahead and read that. You got a little, you know, a little cool looking thing right here with a little Android guy right there. To the back here is where you get some features of this most advanced pocket cinema. So it's a sleek, compact, and portable, remarkable pictures, incredible 360 sound. So I did not expect this. So this, not only is this um, a, pro a pocket cinema or a projector, it seems like it also has speakers built into it. Which is supposed to be 360 sound, so I can't wait to check it out. Extended playtime, run the latest apps, and total connectivity. So setting this up should be a smooth breeze, and that's the technical specs, the battery capacity. Um, um, oh, micro USB, USB OTG, interesting. And what's inside the box? Still so things blocked in right here, but it looks like we're gonna get the Nebula capsule, a remote control cables and the user manual so that's pretty cool that they include a user manual and this side you got a better look of the lens of the nebula and that's pretty much it for the box guys let me go ahead and grab this little bad boy here and we're gonna jump into the box all right here we go all right so i really don't want to damage this box too much because i actually like the packaging of this so we're gonna try to just get a little nick like right here boom nice neat cut that should oh perfect that was a perfect neat cut right there all right let's get all this plastic off oh that was that was pretty cool little thing right here oh we have to cut another tape now I've never really used a projector before I do have a very good friend of mine that actually has a projector and his is actually pretty cool so I can't wait to check this out that's kind of what inspired me to buy this and I was just scrolling through Amazon and I just saw it so pretty cool oh this unboxing is really nice guys so a little um little example of what you can use this for maybe you you know you're gonna go camping or something like that and you have oh you can project onto your den that's a pretty pretty stellar idea all right so entertainment made portable we're gonna take that out we're gonna take a look at that in a few we're gonna take out the nebula it's actually pretty tiny guys all right we're gonna check that out in a sec um let's see the cables that we get inside here let me just adjust the camera all right so let's see what we get inside of this little box right here Alrighty, gonna open this really quickly. It looks like we're gonna be getting this is the micro USB cable and your wall charger. Now this is for charging it. I'm pretty sure you are able to use it while it's being charged. Um I'm pretty sure you can. Alright, in this one right here, it looks like we're gonna be getting Ooh, what is in here? Oh, is this a carrying case? 
classic Anchor, including their mesh carrying case. Man, you gotta love Anchor for this. They like they get you all set. It's crazy. Cleaning cloth, OTG. Not that I needed one, but it's good that they included. This is like like the little wire one. I usually have the stub adapter that you get with the Galaxy phones. And last but not least, it looks like we're gonna be getting the manual. Yep, the manual. We're not gonna take a look at it. If you guys decide to buy one of these, you're gonna, you know, take a look at your manual. All right, so readjust the camera. All right, guys, and this is the Nebula. So this is pretty cool looking. Um, it's about maybe a about that's three maybe five inches five and a half inches tall that's about two and a half inches across so it's a pretty good size let me see if I could get something to compare it with really quickly um okay there you go there's a mouse right here you guys know the basic size of a mouse it's pretty small guys it is pretty small I'm just gonna grab some random stuff. Scissors. Like, that is that is legit tiny, guys. It's a pretty... I, I think we get it. It's a pretty small projector. Alright, so to the top here, it looks like we have... I'm not sure what this button is. Maybe I do have to check out the manual. We have the power, volume up, volume down. Yep. Um... To the bottom here, you got your little HDMI for connecting, you know, whatever device you're, you're going to be projecting for ROM. You have your input right here for charging. Oh, no. No, they didn't. It's a tripod mount at the bottom of this mini projector. So you can get crazy, like, you know, stability. Oh, I, it's crazy. It's a crazy speaker. Um... Volume, what is this? Oh, this may be for adjusting the eye of the camera. Okay, so I kind of had to go to the manual just to get the quick diagram. So it turns out that this is in fact the um, lens adjusting knob to get your clarity on 360 sound all the way around. Now, while I was going through the manual um, little box right there, I forgot the remote. So the remote, I'm not going to open it all the way, but you have power, mouse control, whoa, we definitely got to try that out. Um, home button, you know, a whole bunch of great stuff going on here. And that's, and that's the projector, guys. So let me go ahead, try to set this up, and then I'll show you guys how to set it up, and then hopefully get to test it out. Alrighty, guys, so it's all mounted up here. It was pretty simple to mount with a little, um mounting bracket there on the tripod it just screws in very easily onto the little um, um i guess bracket um to help mount this or to help secure nebula to the tripod everything looks good this is a much better look at it i got my light beaming on it so you guys can get a cool look i can't wait to try it at 360 sound and i'll probably try to stick a mouse in that otg just to see if the mouse actually works once it's projected onto the wall over there so let me go ahead grab the remote mount my little tripod that i'm holding in my hands with my camera and we're gonna run through the setup process all right guys so i went ahead and turned off my lights so we're in complete darkness and i'm about to turn on nebula just so we can you know get the best there you go, and there's Nebula, Nebula's on right now. And you probably heard the fan, the little noise in the background, that's Nebula's fan. It comes on immediately and it, it comes on like, the it just comes on pretty, pretty good. All right, so there's Nebula, that's the little home screen right there. Um, so I'm not exactly sure how many inches it's projecting right now, but it's a fairly big screen. It's probably looking like a 70 inch that it's projecting right now. Um, yeah, let's see how it goes. So, so far, so good. There you go. So, that's the setup screen right there. Let me just adjust my camera angle really quick. Alrighty. Um, well, I tried, but it's the same thing. I got the remote here, and we're just going to go through. So, this is running Android um, 7.1. I do have to connect to Wi-Fi, so let me go ahead type this Wi-Fi in really quick. Alright, so Nebula's connected to the Wi-Fi. I think she just got connected. So there we go. So we have the, the the capsule control. So I'm pretty sure you can download the app if you want to control it from your phone, which is a pretty cool option. But the remote so far is very responsive. There's no lag. Um, we do have the Bluetooth speaker mode, and that's the so that's what that button was for earlier that we couldn't figure out during the unboxing. 
um, but that's to turn it into Bluetooth mode and off of Bluetooth mode. So we do have to agree to the terms and condition. Here we go. And that's the home screen for Nebula, guys. So we have the HDMI input right here. File managers, um, file manager, which I'm assuming you can um, maybe plug like a, a USB into it and probably run through some files if you have some movies or stuff you want um, to show on Nebula. App manager, which we're going to check it in a few. Wi-Fi settings right here. And from settings, you can control a whole bunch of stuff right here. Um, yeah. Capsule control upgrade if there's any new um upgrade for the Android projector right here. I'm pretty sure we can check out the, the image mode. Image mode right here is auto standard board. You know what? Let's keep it on auto. We should have enough battery to go through this. Um what else we got? And about about will show you everything you need to know about Nebula it's running 7.1.2. Um, Available storage is 8 gigabytes. We have 5.6, and you know, full thing on recovery mode is at the bottom in case you want to reset your Nebula to factory settings. General setting here would have just languages, background, keyboard, even screen mirroring, which we can actually screen mirror from an Android device. Actually, let's click it and check out. Okay, so you can AirPlay which is actually pretty dope if I must say so myself and you can also Android play so you get two great options in case you want to cast from your smart device and that's that's pretty much it for the settings let's go back to the menu right here so we have 87 percent battery it's currently 12 well the time is off I'm gonna have to fix up but we're gonna do it off camera it, there's the Bluetooth if you want to connect an external speaker which is pretty good so maybe you wanna let's do let's say you're doing like a backyard movie night or something you have a very loud Bluetooth speaker you can just connect it it'll probably burn through your battery a lot faster but it's cool to have that option um let's go down to apps right here so it looks like the, you can run Amazon um, videos in there you can run YouTube Netflix um, we have the App Store right here let's see what apps they have so app I'm not sure how to pronounce that but that's Apple you guys are probably gonna kill me but app to I'm, I'm sorry I'm not gonna even say that forgive me if I am wrong but it looks like we're getting so the editor's choice right here is a whole, you can run Spotify, Plex, which which sounds pretty cool, Amazon Instant Video, TED Talk, Netflix, which I'm probably going to be using a lot of, and then YouTube. What else you have here? Now, Mobdro, Mobdro is a pretty cool one, guys. Now, if you guys are Android users, you probably know what Mobdro is. It's one of those um, third-party apps that you can install onto your Android phone. And you're able to get a whole bunch of different channels and this comes like part of the app store on nebula which is insane because on the play store you have to you can't find this on the play store you actually have to go to google and download the apk and the fact that this actually comes you know with this and you just have to install it like i'm doing right now is actually pretty ridiculous so let me show you guys really quick what mobdro is and then with you guys you know just the video quality of nebula so I just installed it we're gonna open it right here agree to the terms and conditions you know we do have to allow the permission so check this out guys so we have channel um oh I actually hit it let's go back really quick not mouse mode okay so we have channels new shows movies sports music a whole bunch of options right there so let's hit up channels and if you guys are in the United States of America, I'm gonna just click on ABC so you guys can kinda look at that. Look how quick that load. Now there is a lag to it. There you go. There you go guys. There you go and we're live television right now. And the sound you're hearing is coming directly from Nebula itself. So if you're in a nice closed room, it's pretty it's not that big. The sound from Nebula, the 360 sound is actually good enough. And look, we have live television, guys. Live television. That is insane. And this is free. You just need um, a Wi-Fi connection. So, the title where you saw free television, it wasn't a clickbait. This is actually 100% free. You're just paying for um, your Wi-Fi connectivity. Um, let's check out a few more channels right here. So, we have... Let's check out the Food Network. Let's see what's on the Food Network right now. So there's the little lag right there. You guys can actually count. There we go. 
one egg in each and I'm going to start here. So I have It's kind of an annoying lag, but nonetheless it is free. And a little salt and pepper and I'm just Okay, it's loading. It's taking its precious time to load, but to that, I'm gonna add this incredible combination of stuff. Come on, there we go. It finally loaded. So probably like a like a ten second delay right there. Garlic. And we have the Food Network, guys. Once again, free television. And and this is not even plugged in. This is running on battery right now. This is just crazy. This is what blew me away. Um, when I was checking Spike Television, guys. Spike TV. This is a cable channel. You don't get this on regular TV and you're getting it on Nebula and it's live right now look at that that is crazy guys anyway so look HBO you get HBO family you get all these cable channels for free it's just crazy anyways let me come off of that let's check out some more apps um, YouTube we have um, VLC player Netflix I'm probably not actually let's run through Netflix really quick Actually, I don't have my Netflix subscriptions anymore, so that's a bad idea. And there, there's so much Facebook. There's so much stuff you can do with um with Nebula because it's running straight Android. You you can even buy games. You can even download different category of games, which is crazy. You know what? Let let's install the racing game and see how it works with the remote. Let's do um Fury really quick. I'm just gonna go ahead and install it really quickly. But guys, so I just installed it. I just opened it. Let's do a quick, probably just run through the quick tutorial and see how the games are. Welcome to Rally Fury. All right, so how are we gonna do this? I'm not sure how we're gonna do this. Oh, it's crazy, guys! So it's it's accelerating on its own, and you could kind of use the remote to stare. That is so cool. I don't even know where I'm going. Am I going the right way? This is so cool! Okay, so you kind of have to stare off the remote. So your direction is to turn on the remote. And the middle is for accelerating. Oops, I'm drifting everywhere. So that that's pretty cool. I I do hope. Um. Oh, there we go, guys. So you can actually connect an external controller. So if you guys don't remember, um, actually I never featured it, but I have one of these um external Bluetooth gaming controllers that you can set up to your um to your tablet or to your cell phone, and I'm pretty sure you can pair it up to Nebula. That would be awesome if you could pair it up to Nebula and. Um, just use that as a control. That would be that would be crazy. Um, gamepad. That is just insane that you can connect a gamepad to this. So I'm just gonna go back to the home menu. I'm just gonna go straight to home menu really quick. All right. So gaming seems pretty cool on Nebula. And as you install the apps, it just show up at the bottom there. And of course, we gotta try YouTube, guys. You know, cause it's that's the whole point of it. YouTube seems to be. The, the thing now so let me install YouTube and we're gonna run some videos we're not gonna run any music videos unless they're copyrighted so don't get your hopes set on that guys but um here we go I'm gonna try to find one of my videos actually and see how it plays out so we're gonna just search really quickly I don't want to run anybody else's video you know we, we don't want to get no copywriting can I speak to it Okay, could speak to it. Okay, but we're not going to speak to it. So let me go search it really quick. There you go, guys. I was able to find my channel right there. I'm just going to go to my home channel. There's the couple um, videos I did right there. Let's try to do just... Uh, let's check out the anchor. Let's see how, how this runs. <laughs> And as you guys can see, YouTube runs. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to. Oh, let me just turn on the volume. YouTube runs really well on this, guys. Super well, and the screen is just massive, guys. You guys really have to have this to just experience um, how good this is. Um, purchase link is in the description below. I believe it's over. It's about almost close to four hundred dollars with taxes, but it's so far I haven't found a negative of this of this projector guys it's portable um 
the the video quality is really crispy. It's super good. I mean, it's a projector, so the quality the, the quality is pretty amazing. Um, it runs Android. Um, you can YouTube. You can Miracast. Um, I I'm actually recording with my phone, so I really can't show you the Miracast. But trust me, it can Miracast. Um, Apple Play, Android Play, it definitely works. Um, you guys saw the games. If you have a controller, you can pair up a controller and just game away, you know, as much as you like. And the live television option with Mobdro is a really, really, really great buying point with this. You know, you can literally just project this anywhere where there's a flat surface and no light at all. You know, you know, less light the better the projection will be. Um, but it's it's a definitely a thumbs off. Hey, I'm I've never really been so excited and happy to to buy a gadget. You know, I've been happy to own a bunch of gadgets, but this one's it's it's got me extra excited. It is made by Anchor, so shout out to Anchor for making another great product. You guys know I love your products. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what else to say about this, guys. This is definitely a must-have if if you just want to experience this. So purchase link, like I said, is in the description below. Definitely check it out. Um, I'm probably gonna hang on to this Nebula. Um, I'm not deciding yet, but I probably will just because of this. You know. It's a huge screen, guys. You can have a 70-inch screen for 400 bucks. I mean, under 400 bucks, and it's a smart screen. Well, you really can't get better than guy, um, better than that, guys. Anyway, so with that, I'm gonna end the video right here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had fun making it. Um, hit the thumbs up button if you did. Share this with anyone who you think that you know this might blow them away. And until next time, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.